the message. 1 Corinthians 15, 16 through 20. If corpses can't be raised, then Christ wasn't, because he was indeed dead. And if Christ wasn't raised, then all you're doing is wandering about in the dark as lost as ever. It's even worse for those who died hoping in Christ and resurrection because they're already in their graves. Hi, I'm Jeff Blackford of Cleopas Bible Study, and thanks for watching our Easter video series on the resurrection. This video is titled, Remove the Resurrection, Remove Christianity. Or in other words, the resurrection is the heart of Christianity. At the beginning, we heard some of Paul's letters to the Corinthians, where he describes what if Jesus wasn't actually raised from the dead. And Paul says, in that case, our faith would be worthless, really, without the resurrection. But what if God did not or could not actually raise us from the dead? Well, Paul said in that case, we really should be pitied. If then Jesus would be a liar, and then Christianity would be some pipe dream or some elaborate hoax, there'd be no forgiveness for our sins, no life or after death, game over. Our end would be the grave, just like any other religious leader that's still in the grave. Without the resurrection, Christianity is almost meaningless as Jesus needed to prove his power over life and death. Whether he proved it to us or not, Jesus clearly had life, power over life and death, but he wanted us to be confident in his power over life and death and that he could raise us up to heaven for eternal life after our death. So prior to Jesus' death, his body was scourged, he was punished, tortured, and then crucified and a spear thrust into his body. He was dead. There was no life left in his body. The resurrection of Jesus was a bodily resurrection. God raised up Jesus' body in the flesh, not some spirit or ghost, as maybe some scoffers might have said it. So the word in Scripture which is translated as resurrection is the Greek word anastasis, which simply means to stand up. It refers to the body and cannot refer to the soul. So scripture is clear that Jesus' body was buried. After his death on the cross, secret disciples, and we know it was Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea, took his body down from the cross and embalmed it, which embalming only happens if you're dead and then they buried him in one of their tombs. When he did finally appear three days later, as described in Acts 24, 39, they didn't believe it was him. Jesus said to them, look at my hands, look at my feet, and see that it's really me. Touch me and see for yourselves. Ghosts don't have flesh and bones, but you can see that I truly do. So what are some of the takeaways that we need to see from this? Well, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is exclusive to Christianity. No other religious leader has ever both prophesied and actually experienced their own death and resurrection. Have any of the following religious leaders cheated death and proved it? Muhammad, Buddha, Confucians, many, many more. No, they're all dead and buried. Why would we follow a dead leader and end up just like him? Christianity has proven its message by having a leader who died and rose from the dead. Jesus' tomb is still empty, demonstrating his power over life and death and his power to raise you and I up to eternal life after death. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, and He's still alive. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank You, Father, for Your crucifixion and 
and the resurrection, proving to us that you have power over life and death. I just pray that those here today will have renewed confidence in your promise that in our death, you have the power to lift us up, to be with you eternally in heaven, Father. Thank you, Father, for these words. And I just pray for blessings on those that are with us. Thank you, Lord. We ask all this in Jesus' name, I pray. And thank you all for watching today. Um, there are several other videos uh, in describing the resurrection at Easter. So uh, we just encourage you to tune into those, and I hope you enjoy those. Thank you, and have a great day.